of it, I'm glad that my grandkids were, were none of us killed. Well, tonight, two shootings in one Indianapolis neighborhood put nearly a dozen kids in danger. Yeah, 10 children were caught in the line of fire, and one of them was sent to the hospital after getting hit. Now, both of these crimes took place last night within a block of each other on the city's near northeast side. Our Emily Longnecker tonight shows us the aftermath and the fear that it's caused for the families who are involved. Each of the 30 bullet holes in the front of this near northeast side home are reminders of how lucky this woman, her daughter, and three grandchildren are to be alive. Yeah, everybody hit the floor? Sure did. Yeah, we did. But uh, like I said, just, you know, thank God when nobody, you know, hurt real, real, real bad, period. You know, that's a, that's a blessing in itself. She didn't want to give us her name, but says when the gunfire was over, her 15-year-old granddaughter had been hit on the leg by shrapnel. She's, a, she's, you know, she's been in surgery and everything. She's out of surgery. The woman says someone started shooting just before midnight. We just heard a little pop, and then we just heard boom, 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 you know. Then that was it. It was over that fast. A day later, she's mad, but also determined to stand her ground in the neighborhood where the family has lived for years. Home. It's terrifying, but I mean, this is home. And... Uh, like I said, I can see if I was running from somebody, but I'm not. So I'm not going anywhere. And just down the street a few hours earlier, police say someone opened fire on a car with more than half a dozen young children inside. Amazingly, no one was hurt, and police made an arrest for criminal recklessness. Crazy. Crazy. Don't have nothing to do. Don't believe in God, and don't think about their mothers. Because it could be them. Right. You know, see, that's what whoever did this was not thinking about their their mother, their parents. You see what I'm saying? For now, she's just happy it's quiet tonight and trying not to think about how much worse it could have been. It, yeah, it's scary, man. It's scary. That's all I can say is that it's scary, but um, uh, God's watching over us. <laughs> I mean, that's all I can really say because he was watching over us last night. For Emily Longnecker, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. And right now, police tell us they don't believe the two shootings are connected, even though they did happen on the same street but they're not ruling out that possibility either.